Hi, my name is Trace Embry. I'm the founder and director of Shepherds Hill Academy, a Christ-centered residential therapeutic program and school for troubled teens. I'm also host of the nationally syndicated radio broadcast, Licensed to Parent. But more importantly, I'm a 21st century parent, just like many of you, trying my best to get it all sorted out. And though working with parents and their kids is my full-time ministry, I've never claimed to be the perfect parent myself. The truth is, there are no perfect parents, other than our Heavenly Father. And look what his first two kids did. So, being better parents doesn't necessarily guarantee we'll have better kids. But it sure increases our odds, especially in an age where digital technology has become the other parent. You know, I think we could all use a little help and encouragement in this area, especially in today's digital age. Think about it. Not only does the average teenager send 3,000 text messages a month, they spend nearly nine hours a day in front of screens and keyboards, while one study claims those same teenagers spend a mere 20 seconds a day of meaningful dialogue with their dads. And when we add multitasking to the equation, those numbers rise sharply. The truth is, we often take our parenting cues from pop culture, pop psychology, and celebrity experts like Dr. Drew, Dr. Oz, Dr. Phil, and even Dr. Oprah. And to paraphrase Dr. Phil, how's that been working for us? Our culture has created fragile, entitled parents who've created even more fragile and entitled kids. There's no doubt that we love our kids, but is love really all we need? In loving our kids, we too often tried to make them relevant in the light of our perceived contemporary cultural norms. But the cultural norms of Babylon, Sodom, and Gomorrah are not based on the biblical principles that foster the abundant life. Consequently, we've too often made ourselves and our kids irrelevant with respect to living the abundant life or growing and experiencing the kingdom of God. Remember, Jesus said the kingdom of God is within you. And what is the kingdom of God? Well, it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, everything we too often look for in all the wrong places. When we raise kids who truly have God's kingdom within them, they'll be much more likely and willing to trust and perform before an audience of one, rather than a Facebook audience, or an interactive video game audience, or the bad crowd. And so will we. What I had to come to grips with concerning my own perspective on parenting was just how far off the mark I was, according to a biblical standard. I didn't realize what a powerful influence the culture had on not just my kids, but on me as a parent. And unfortunately, the Bible didn't give me parameters and insights for the use of digital technology. Scripture doesn't address the fact that too much time playing video games or multitasking on screens and keyboards is damaging my child's brain circuitry and can drastically change his personality and worldview, but science does. What the Bible does do is give us parameters, principles, and insights for living the abundant life, experiencing the kingdom of God, and a spirit that will help us discern how to best navigate the digital world we now live in. Digital technology is here to stay. So, like fire or gunpowder, we might as well learn how to use it as a tool for good rather than a weapon for evil, all within the context of a biblical worldview. If the church can take the lead in this area and be a model of best practices for digital use, and if our Christian families can become the ultimate model for parent-child relationships, not only will we increase our chances of creating kids we actually like, but the world will be more likely to take God and His Word, the Gospel, more seriously as well. So, in light of today's digital world, what are best practices? And what does raising kids according to a biblical worldview in the digital age actually look like? I invite you to find out. Join nationally recognized parenting experts, John Rosemont, Alex McFarlane, and me on Saturday, March 21st at 5 o'clock at Tacoa Falls College, where together we can help bring you some insights and answers to raising healthy kids in the digital age. Get your tickets online by going to licensedtoparent.org. You'll find a lot of other helpful parenting resources there too. 
Group discounts are available, and all proceeds go to the Shepherd Till Academy Scholarship Fund for indigent families and single parents. So your participation will not only help you and your family, but it will help families and kids in desperate need of therapeutic residential care also. And remember, if you don't train your children, somebody or something else will. God bless you. See you March 21st.